not some cruel game. It was necessary. Tonight is about more than Gotham. It's about what you became in that room. The hero who failed. That's what I want the world to see. I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone was coming. I've had a bad feeling about this city for weeks, ever since the fire started. I need more evidence to be certain, but I think your crew was tackling the work of one serial arsonist. Great! <laughs> Guess it wouldn't be Gotham without a crazy pyro running loose, huh? You know, the Chief always said we'd get through it. <laughs> but I don't know anymore. Not after this. Everything's going to be okay. You'll be safe with the rest of your men back at GCPD. Good to see you, Batman. Uh, you're working for Riddler. Hey, what? You're crazy! Batman's gone crazy, guys! What are you doing, Batman? Back off! Stand down, Batman! I don't know what he's talking about, guys! Are you sure? Okay, okay! I knew famous Enigma! Tell him when Gordon's on his trail, stick those dumb trophies of his around the place, that kind of stuff. But that's it, really! I'm not such a bad guy, I swear. I don't care. Hey, you can't throw me in here, I'm a cop! Not anymore. Man here is saying we, uh, kicked your ass. Hey, man. Are you okay? Watch yourself. Whoa, easy. You're standing here. I don't like that. Be quiet. What the hell happened on that airship? Scarecrow took the cloudburst. I'm guessing that's bad. Where's Gordon? He's still looking for Barb. I can't reach him. Tell me you found her, Batman. Cash. I'm sorry. No. Don't say it. Not her. If Gordon comes back here, lock him up. He goes after Scarecrow. It only ends one way. Ivy cares about the environment, Batman. You gotta give her credit. That's not a popular position to take these days. I need your help. From where I'm standing, you need a miracle. Why didn't the gas affect you? You are scared. You would be too, if you knew what Scarecrow's planning. And I should trust you. Why? 
Because without your help, every plant in this city will die. About that miracle. I created a spore to counter the effects of Crane's toxin. It's easy when you know how. And can manipulate plants on a molecular level. Could it protect the entire city? Theoretically. But there's no way I can produce enough on my own. Then let's get you some backup. Where to? The Botanical Gardens. They're the oldest plants in Gotham. They'll tell me what we need to do. Shutter door isn't opening. What's happening? There's one big mother of a tank driving around out there. It doesn't look friendly. Neither do I. Open the shutter door and I'll scan it from the rooftops. See if I can find a weakness. I'll open it. Try not to get killed. There's the tank. I'll need to scan its hull to find a weakness I can exploit. the rear scanned. Now I need to scan the sides. That's the right side scanned. I just need to scan the left side. I've already analyzed this section. This section's already been analyzed. I've already analyzed this section. This section's already been analyzed. I need to zoom in and focus on the targets to scan from this distance. The Cobra drone has enough firepower to rip the Batmobile to shreds in just a few shots. And its armor is too thick for my weaponry to penetrate head on. However, there is a weakness. The drone's rear exhaust port leads straight to the power core. One well-placed shot with the Batmobile 60mm cannon should take it out. can use the radar to track the drone's movements and get behind it for a clear shot at the exhaust port. Cobra scout destroyed. Impossible. We know what caliber rounds he's using. The armor was impenetrable. Chances roll a single heavy armor unit into the field and expect to crush him under it. He's better than that. Initiate stage two attack protocol. I trust that tank didn't give you too much trouble. I thought you'd like to know that the Batmobile upgrade you requested is ready for installation at the Clock Tower facility. Assuming the car's still in one piece, of course. Thanks, Lucius. I'm afraid the 
Three more of those Cobra tanks have been deployed. Thanks, Alfred. I'll need to take them out before I drop off Ivy. gardens in one piece, Batman. Or you can kiss that miracle goodbye. We're here, Ivy. What now? Look at her. She's been here since before man walked the earth. She still holds great power, but she's weak, poisoned by decades of pollution. She won't be able to fight Scarecrow's toxin on her own. Then we need another. There aren't any left like her. Not anymore. What happened? What do you think? Man, you cut them back, built over them, stopped them from reaching the sun. If I can locate the roots, could you revive them? They're lost. Buried beneath this concrete monstrosity. How will you... The bigger the plant, the deeper the root. You wait here. I'll find a way to break them free. Lucius, I need a way to track an ancient root system. It's deep underground. I'm sure I can throw something together, but it may take me a little while. Come to Wayne Tower when you're ready. Thanks, Lucius. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's Most Wanted. Uh, let's see. Nightwing has been tracking another of Penguin's trucks. This will undoubtedly lead to another cache, and a chance to rid the city of Cobblepot and his flood of weapons. We also have a robbery in progress at the Bank of Gotham in Chinatown. Surveillance footage confirms that the perpetrators are known associates of Two-Face. Perhaps Mr. Dent has misplaced his coin. Whatever his reason, he needs to be stopped. Thanks, Alfred. Two-Face and Penguin loose in our city? We need to show them who's boss! So, whose throat are we gonna slit first? That tortured creature was once a man. Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings.
There's a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. Mixing his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. That's it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. His wife, your parents. <laughs> what is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant rodent? Finally gone to hell. I'm sick of it. All of it. I need you to stay calm. This won't help anyone. I'm sorry. It's just all that's happened. It, it hasn't been easy. It feels like we're cursed or something. I know about the sudden upsurge in fires. Was a cause ever established? Nothing concrete. We were chasing our tails on that one. Hey, the way I luck been, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the devil himself. Wait here. An officer is on his way to pick you up. I appreciate your busy, Batman. What with all the other criminal masterminds on the loose. But I assure you, my scheme is by far the most intellectually engaging. So get me. Blow it! Oh, go, go! Two-Face wants every last cent we can find! 
Two-Face's thugs won't hear me over the alarm. No need to be quiet. I can hit them fast, hit them hard. Move it, guys! Get the money and fill the truck! We thought you might show up, bad man. We were counting on it. We're not alone, guys! Someone else is here! Maybe the bank! Kill the bat and grab the cash! Easy! Batman, I need the money. It's hard to find honest work with these disfigurements. You make a monster of us and you hunt us down! Keep it together, but get back in! Keep the money! He's underneath us! He's under the floor! Let's stop him! Well then, boys, looks like that bank has a bat infestation. Since we're making such a large withdrawal, why don't we take care of it for them? Lock the doors and fight! Whoever kills the bastard and brings us the body, gets double their cut. Two-Face locked us in. The thugs aren't after money now. They're after me. And there's no alarm to cover the sound of my attacks. Harvey might feel bad about this bad man, but we'll bring him round. Well then, boys, looks like that bank has a bat infestation. Since we're making such a large withdrawal, why don't we take care of it for us? Lock the doors and fight! Whoever kills the bastard and brings us the body, Two-Face locked us in. The thugs aren't after money now. They're after me. And there's no alarm to cover the sound of my attacks. God down, not for a second. Batman, you got this wrong. The Bank of Gotham, it launders money for the mob. Or what's left of it. You remember the mob, right? The guys who burned half our face off because they couldn't get to you? No, sure. There's plenty of clean money mixed with the dirty. But what isn't tainted in this town? So stay away from the banks. You'll regret it if you don't. Cash, Two-Face's crew went after the Bank of Gotham in Chinatown. I need you to disable the bank's security gate and pick up dense thugs. Sure thing, Batman. I'll send a car around now.
Fireflies attack the Otisburg Fire Station. He won't get away this time. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop this, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Alfred, I found a mutilated body. But this isn't the one Cash told me about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. 20 years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary, a small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Accardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. 
And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. to follow. A weapons cache for us to destroy. Thanks, Nightwing. Penguin is using the Cyanus Industries building as a front for one of his weapons caches. I'll take point. Age before beauty, Bruce. Oh. My entrance understated, as always.
no way he's getting in here. Those guns will cut him in half. I should drop in and pay them a visit. He won't come here. Trust me. Oh, yeah, right. I him. Ended up sharing his cell with the missing link. Ah, you still bitching about that? Yeah, damn right I am. Your stress was like a cakewalk compared to mine. You know this was a contest. Maybe you're just sorry you don't get to snuggle up to that big Uncle Man no more. Funny. Real funny. What you gonna do when you're gonna score? how well we work together. I hadn't. I only work with the best. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get any ideas, Bruce. It's not permanent. I like the new job too much, you know? The work's good, I get to decide my own hours, and best of all, there's no boss looking over my shoulder. over yet. By my count, Penguin must have at least three more of these caches in the city. That equals a lot of guns on the street. Huh. It's gonna be a long night for us. I'm used to it. Just keep tracking those refrigeration trucks. And here I thought you might give me a real challenge. <laughs> 